In this section, I want to start a short discussion on configuring IPv6 addresses and then IPv6 routing protocol. And I'm not going to go into details and theories of IPv6. You can go and study about IPv6 in a lot of internet pages or books. Uh, the only thing that I want to show you is how you can configure this on your router. Let's go to your router here. If I go to my router, there is a submenu for IPv6 here. I click on that and go to addresses. You can see that some IPv6 addresses are pre-configured for your physical interfaces here. As you can see, for loopback interfaces, there is no IPv6 address configured here. And these IPv6 addresses are link local based on the fact that I see FE80 at the beginning of this IPv6 address. And this DL gives me a hint of, um, you know, uh, the IPv6 address that I know that this is dynamic and link local. Is it possible to change this link local IPv6 address for this interface? Actually, no. Uh, I cannot do this. If I double click on that, you can see that this is deactivated. I cannot, uh, this is inactive. I cannot change it. I cannot remove it. And I cannot add uh, uh, FE80 that is going to be linked local IPv6 address, for example, 101. And if I click on apply, you can see that it tells me cannot add link local address. So link local IPv6 addresses are not permitted to change here. But what about global or other types of IPv6 address? I want to add some global IPv6 addresses to my interfaces. And these addresses will begin with 2001, for example, for my network. And I want to add a colon, and after that I want to add a VLAN ID here that is 13, for example. And after that, a double colon, and I want to add the whole address manually. So I want to add 101 to recognize that this is for router 1. And then I want to specify the prefix length. So this is 64. Now if I click on OK, you can see that this address is added here. And this is global based on the fact that it, okay, it starts with 2001. Now, can I have multiple IPv6 addresses for an interface? Let's see. If I click here, I can add, for example, 13. 101 slash 64 and click on OK. Now you can see that I have two IPv6 addresses for Ethernet 1. Yes, you can have lots of IPv6 addresses configured for an interface, but I prefer to have only one. That's OK. So I click on this and click on this minus button to remove that extra IPv6 address. Actually, what I am going to do in later sections, I want to add more IPv6 addresses for for example, site local or multicast or other proposals. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. Is it the only way to configure IPv6 status? Actually not. If I click on this plus sign and just specify the prefix, for example, 2000, colon 13, double colon, I can specify the prefix length here. You can see that this is not the whole IPv6 status. But what I am going to do is to click on this EUI64. By clicking on this EUI64 and applying this, you can see that I have an IPv6 address. And this is interesting to show you something. The second part of this IPv6 address is generated automatically. Based on what? Based on the MAC address of this Ethernet interface. How can I tell that? If I go to link local IPv6 address for this interface, you can see that the second part of this interface's IPv6 address is exactly the same of what I have in second part of my global IPv6 address. So this is generated from my MAC address and adding FFFE in the middle of that, it, in the middle of it. Of course, there is a, you know, a flip in the seventh bit of this at the time. I'm not going to talk about this again. As I told you, you need to go and uh, study the theory about this. 
So I can generate the IPv6 service only with one prefix, and this is the preferred way actually. But as I told you, I prefer to add IPv6 manually so that I can tell which router is, uh, you know, the the owner of this IPv6 address. So I just select this and click on minus button. What I am going to do is to add 2001.13 actually this is going to be 12 and 101.64 this is going to be for Ethernet 2 and I want to add an IPv6 address for my um, let me select this loopback interface loopback 0 so this is going to be 2000 one and uh, let me select 101 at the end and let me add another one here so that I can recognize it easier slash 128 and you can see that this is a host address I am selecting the whole 128 bit here so that this is going to be uh, just a host IPv6 address okay click on apply and click on ok it tells me cannot advertise address with prefix length actually I'm not going to advertise this so I remove this checkbox and click on apply now you can see that I have a global IPv6 address configured for my loopback interface here so uh, what we did is configuring an IPv6 address using two different methods one of them is called a manual IPv6 address configuration the other one as I told you is to select EUI64 but there is a third model of IPv6 address configuration that is mostly used for computers or devices in that subnet. And what is that? It is rather advertisement. You can see that advertise is selected here. So this rather is advertising its prefix that is 2001.12.64 on this link that is Ethernet 2. So any other device connected to this subnet, actually connected to Ethernet 2 of this router, can receive this subnet and based on that can configure an IPv6 address for itself. Unfortunately, what I told you is not the case on Mikrotik routers. Advertisement works, but routers do not care about advertisement. As you can see on router 2, if I go to addresses, although I have connectivity to Ethernet 2 of router 1, but here Ethernet 2 that is connected to Ethernet 2 of router 1, of course, does not use the prefixes and does not add any IPv6 address. But on Cisco routers, of course, this is the case. But as I told you, if you have devices in this segment, they will use the advertisement and they will configure IPv6 address using that prefix and the rest of the IPv6 address is created or generated by using the MAC address and adding FFFE to the middle of that. Okay, now I want to add another IPv6 address on router 2. For Ethernet 2, I add 2001, um, that was 12, double colon 102 slash 64, and click on apply click on OK. Now that I have configured this, I need to be able to ping the other side of my link. So I need to go to Tools, select Ping here, and type 2001.12.101 and click on Start. Now you can see that the echo reply is coming back very cleanly so IPv6 address is configured correctly and everything is work ju is working just fine so in next section I want to add more IPv6 addresses to my network and check the connectivity and after that we will go for routing protocols